potential to be elite, which we've seen this year. That's what Mahomes is going to be facing. Brady's going to be facing a defense that has been trending in the wrong direction. They're still better than giving credit for, but it's a softer touch. So, it, so the game should be closer, I think, than people anticipate, and I do think Tampa will have chances. I do not think Tom Brady can keep up with Patrick Mahomes. But, but let me be clear, at no point in Tom Brady's career he's going to keep up with Patrick Mahomes given the same circumstances. Mahomes is a much more talented player. And Brady's advantage back in the day was not only he was a strong-arm quarterback, but he was the best decision maker. He processed information the, the most quickly. He made the best decisions. He made the fewest errors. Number one, he ain't with Bill Belichick anymore. And Bill Belichick had something to do with that, right? He's with Bruce Arians. Now he sees not how the other half lives, but how almost everyone else who have, who's ever lived lives without Bill Belichick. Not that the guy's not good, but he's, he's, less, he's, he's not as close to perfect, right? And, and, and that's part of it. And, and so, you know, it, the game can be close, but, but, but Mahomes also makes the kind of decisions that Brady makes, you know, in his prime, that big advantage that Brady had. He's making the best decisions, others aren't. Nowadays, a lot of guys are making a lot of good decisions. Mahomes is one of them, but he's doing it with superhuman talent. So no, Brady won't keep up with Mahomes, but Tampa might keep up with the Chiefs. Listen, this is, this is not, this is not a, a home run for the Kansas City Chiefs. This is a game that they're going to have to play because I believe when you look at the weapons, of Tampa Bay, they match up very favorably against the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, do I give the Kansas City Chiefs the edge? Absolutely. Because of the dude that plays quarterback. But when, you, when you're thinking Mike Evans on Ward and A.B. on Breland, and you're thinking about Rob Gronkowski's facing the linebacker and core of the Kansas City Chiefs, you think, okay, we can win. You think about the way that Rojo, even though he doesn't catch the ball well, the way that he can run the football, you're thinking, okay, we can play a little keep away. And so... This game doesn't look to me as a blowout. This is a game where the Kansas City Chiefs are going to have to make some plays late. But don't we all know that they're going to make them? Right? The same way we felt when the Las, Las Vegas Raiders right. gave the ball back to Patrick Mahomes and Derek Carr played an excellent game. And this offense of the Vegas Raiders moved the ball up and down the field on the Kansas City Chiefs. We all knew with 143 that that was too much time for Patrick Mahomes. And I think it comes down to that again. And I think we come in and we're going to talk next week and we're going to speak about this game and we're going to be like, you know what? Brady played better. The Tampa Bay offense played better. The Tampa Bay's defense was solid. The Tampa Bay's defense made some good plays. But Patrick Mahomes is just that good. And I think Max said something earlier about the Kansas City Chiefs that lets you know how good they are. Is that because team make it an NFL game, right? Because teams make it a professional contest, which usually comes down to one possession games, we say things like the Chiefs look vulnerable, right? Even though they're 12 and four and win the Super Bowl, but they were losing at some points in the playoffs. Oh my goodness, they just beat the Carolina Panthers. Oh, the Las Vegas Raiders beat them earlier and it took Patrick Mahomes to drive late. That's football. Right. That's what happens. That's why it's a team sport. And so though the Kansas City Chiefs aren't undefeated, though the Kansas City Chiefs aren't perfect, I think their quarterback is the closest thing to the quarterback is the closest thing to walking on the field. And when you talk about him against the other quarterback being undefeated, the quarterback is the closest thing to perfection that we have right now because he's the best doing it and yeah, he makes some one, of the Ryan. best decisions. And so go ahead. Ryan, I'll give you one. You have to bet your house. The rules are you have to bet your house. You have no choice. Here are your options. You can be the team up six. There's a minute left to play. <laughs> okay. You could be Patrick Mahomes down six. If I had to put my house up on one of those two situations, my house is going, I'm betting I'd rather be the team with Patrick Mahomes down six. He has, especially this team. He has a minute left on the clock to score a yes. touchdown. I think it's better than a 50-50 proposition. So, like, you're right. They appear yeah, vulnerable. They, had, they, they were down to the Texans. They were down to the Titans. They were down to the Niners. They were down early this season. But all they did was win, 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 win. It's a mirage. It's an illusion. They look vulnerable, but they got Mahomes and all these weapons. In the end, they're going to get you. And, that's the, and I think that's the problem with this team. I think that's also the problem with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is 
We expected the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to look like the Kansas City Chiefs because of the weapons. We thought back to 2007, Brady, when he had Randy Moss. That's all, that's all people kept saying. Remember when he had weapons. Oh, now look what he has. He's going to be so good. And so when it doesn't happen, there's that disappointment, right? Expectation is the greatest breeding ground for disappointment. Because if you don't expect, expect certain things, you don't feel well. let down. So when we see Brady play great the way or, or the team play great the way they play against Carolina, you expect that to roll back around when you're playing the Rams, when you're playing the Saints. But every week is different. And what we've seen is when you can put pressure on Tom Brady, think about it this. changes him. I don't think the Kansas City Chiefs will. And so I think that this game will be better than people expect. But Patrick Mahomes still finds a way, and we still come back and question Brady and question Arians and question this relationship. That, that's right about the pressure. And consider this. Brady has had a, t a couple of times this season in big games, like against the Bears at Soldier Field, where they were favored. When Nick Foles threw the pass in a bad game because the Bears had no O-line, but he got them to field goal range on the money down, and they kicked the field goal to take the lead. Uh-oh, they left too much mm -hmm. time for Tom Brady. Here it comes. No, it didn't. And not yeah. only could he not complete difficult passes, he forgot yeah. the downs. Same thing with the Rams. Did they leave too mm -hmm. much time on the clock? It's Tom Brady. If you had to list the quarterbacks with a minute left in the game that you need to march you down the field, is Brady one of the top three or four or even five guys in the league right now? Because he has every weapon you can imagine. The answer is no. No, well, Max, right. off of that, these quarterbacks had two very different games this past weekend. We saw Tom Brady, two interceptions late in the game, couldn't capitalize on that game-winning drive, whereas Pat Mahomes threw that 22-yard touchdown pass to Travis Kelsey, 28 seconds to go, lifting the Chiefs over the Raiders 35-31. to So there you go. All right, guys, let's wrap this up. We have more NFL coming up.